Testing. <laughs> Come on, Tyson. Let's do this together. Hi, everybody. I am Teresa. As you know, you've been practicing with me for a while, some of you, and some of you are new to the mat. I do apologize. Last week, my cameras did not work. So they're working now. So let's do this. Mercury in retrograde. So Tyson's been playing around a lot lately. Come here, you. Come say hi to everyone. They haven't seen you for a while. So welcome to the 20-minute practice. You could tell I'm full of lots of energy. I do want to explore where in our bodies during this 20 minutes or so. You can see how long it is on the uh, video thing. It'll probably say 26 minutes. Shoulders. There's a lot of shoulder issues coming up. A lot of us are not able to speak our truth because of this curious time. So we're recanting, recoiling, and or saying too much and then having, you know, this difference of opinion arguments. So let's not do that. Let's not argue. Let's just instead go inside and love ourselves. So let's begin by just sitting yourself down on your bolster. Make sure you do have your yoga props around your yoga mat at all times, whether we use them or not, just have them there. Blocks to a yoga strap, a bolster, a blanket of any sort, and maybe a pet dog. <laughs> okay, so this practice, let's dive into the diaphragm. First of all, getting really into the gut. All diseases begin, of course, in a thought and then translate into anxiety and stress, sympathetic system anxiety and so the breath stays up here instead of going down here so let's move the diaphragm by just using that belly pumping it just play with it we're not going to get technical make sure you didn't eat before practice so literally what we're doing is pumping the exhalation out through the nose using the diaphragm the gut muscles okay and what we'll do it's called uh kabbalah bhati what we'll do is do 30 rounds of exhalation, just focusing on the exhalation to get that going, okay? First of all, I acknowledge you. I am the other you, and I understand the stress levels. So let's just begin by seating ourselves and taking a moment to rest before we go here. I'm gonna reel it in, okay, reel it in. Palms up for daytime, palms down for evening practices to ground. I love to place my hand on my heart, one hand palm up because it's daytime here. Close your eyes and take a moment to look inward towards your mind's eye and thank yourself for showing up on the mat today. Just thank yourself. Just thanking yourself for this 20 minute or so practice to say yes, thank you. And then I invite you to breathe in through both nostrils, through the sinuses. Fill your lungs until you feel the belly bellow. You could place your other hand on your belly. And then when you're ready to exhale, just go, ha, ah, make sounds. It's okay to make sounds. You're in your comforts of your personal space. Maybe you're celebrating it with other people. Everybody just make noises, okay, sounds. Big breath in again. And just go, ah, finally, I'm on my mat. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, once you settle into that breathing, start to roll your shoulders and your jaw. You could switch out your shins if you're seated cross-legged like I am, working the non-habitual shin. And then I'm going to invite everyone to place a hand on that diaphragm, like right at the umbrella of your ribs here, right inside there. Take a little trial run with me. First of all, look to the tip of the nose or close your eyes because you don't need to see how to do this. Take a really full breath into the fullness of your lungs until you feel the belly bellow. And when you're ready to exhale, exhale it out through your nose. Go all the way out. And notice if you need to blow your nose. Big breath in through the nose. All the way out through the nose. One more of those. Big fullness of breath. Out through the nose. completely devoid it. Then shake it out a little bit. Now let's practice three rounds, and it's always a practice of Kabbalah Bhakti, meaning you're exhaling 30 exhalations like this. So you've cleaned your nose already, and we'll focus on those 30 rounds. Don't worry about counting, I'll count for you, whether it be 30 or 40 or 15. 
Go as fast as you feel the urgency to pump your belly or less is more too. 33 rounds, I meant to say three rounds of 30 exhalations, okay? Just follow my lead, sit nice and tall, hand on diaphragm, other hand on thigh, take a moment, close your eyes, take a really big full breath in, hold and retain it, and when you're ready, out through the sinuses, using your diaphragm to pump it out, expelling, releasing, letting go, moving it out, get it out of there, just go. You can do it faster if you feel comfortable without shrugging your shoulders for another five, four, three, two, one. Big breath in. Hold and retain the fullness of that breath. Then let it out through your mouth. Ha! Ah, good job. Let's do the second round. Big breath in. Close your eyes. Sit up nice and tall. Hold, retain. And when you're ready, out through the sinuses. You can go as slow as you need to through the sinuses. Keep your shoulders still, sitting up nice and tall for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Big breath in, hold and retain it. Then let it out through your mouth. Oh yeah. One more round. Close your eyes, sitting up nice and tall. Big breath in, hold, retain. And when you're ready, expel it. Let it go. Keep those shoulders back. Keep your spine nice and long. Keep the fluidity of the exhalation through the nostrils, through the movement of diaphragm for another 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Big breath in. Hold and retain and let it out. Fantastic. Let's bring our hands now together as we rest them at our heart center and just let that breath now be fluid. In and out through the sinuses, in and out through the sinuses and out through the mouth, whatever pleases you. Close your eyes and just rest with that. Just rest with that. You can always practice this on your own time. You could do more rounds. You could do it first thing in the morning before you even start your day while you're taking a shower. Kind of like that thing. It's a good time to do it. Now let us begin the next part of our practice, chanting the sound of Om. This is our spiritual practice, the sound of Ah, Om, oh, mm. one big Om. Deep breath in. Ah. Beautiful, slowly release your hands, roll your shoulders, move your body around. Now let's get started in the core and always breath practice. So I'd like to begin on in tabletop. So I'm gonna take my beautiful brand new blanket. Well, it's not brand new, it's been a while. Tyson, you're gonna to have to move. Come into tabletop, roll your shoulders back first of all. Once you find your tabletop, make sure you root through the base knuckle of your index finger and thumb and create a suction cup with your hands. Manipulate your shoulders around your wrists and your elbows, your toes and your knees and give yourself permission to find a cat cow. Hopefully you've practiced without any food in your belly. Most often give yourself at least an hour and a half to two hours after you've eaten or do this practice before you even eat in the day. When you're ready, let's still our cat cow and I invite everyone to extend the left leg straight back through the balls of the foot, tone the belly, lift up the back of the head, fill up the space between your shoulder blades and then extend out through the right arm. From here, lift the left leg but tone the belly button in reaching out through that right arm and keep on lifting up through the inner left thigh and then begin to extend your right arm as far forward as you can it may be out on a diagonal toning that belly button in keeping your toes flaring keeping the balls of your feet active and when we're ready let's exhale bend elbow and knee together and round your spine and then extend them out on an in breath Let's do that nine more times at your own pace. So you're exhaling, squeezing in, catting your back out, curling in, and then inhaling it out. Once again, go at your own pace. Count down from 10. This is eight for me. Feeling the expression. Beautiful. Seven, or maybe six. So really feel the extension of your spine when you reach out. Not hurrying it. Slow it down. This is therapeutics. Spread your fingers. Tone that belly button in. Actually, I totally lost count, but that's okay. 
So I'm gonna do two more of these because I feel that's where I'm at. Feel that energy and it's okay if we're off by <laughs> a number, it's okay. Squeeze, 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 extend, extend. Find your tabletop. Some of you need to come off your wrists. Do so, rotate your ankles, sit on your toes. Though. A lot of you do need to come off your toes, but get your toes in the works. Take a moment, let's plant or flex our feet, sit in Virasana, spread your wings and take your hands back behind you. You may need a yoga strap to do that. And that means you're going to hold the yoga strap between your index finger and middle finger, grip and pull back, tone the belly button. Am I sitting on your tail, Tyson? <laughs> Get you out of there. Roll those shoulders back. Move your jaw around, move your head around. So if you're interlacing your fingers, make sure your shoulders aren't rolling forward and your elbows bowing out. Make sure they're extended back. Use a strap. It's your friend. Two more breaths here. Knit the belly button in. Fantastic. Good. Let's go into that tabletop. Again, so once you're in your tabletop, use your blanket for your knees if you need it. From here, stir it around. Yeah. Good. And then let's invite stillness. When you're ready, the right leg scrubs back. Straight, strong leg. Left arm goes out perpendicular. Tone the belly. Lift up through the inner right thigh and then begin to extend that left arm forward so you get nice and tall knit the belly button in so you're not dropping your belly and extend through the crown of the head when you're ready let's exhale bring left elbow right knee together cat your back out spread toes and fingers and count down 10. so playing with this contraction this expression of extension and contraction is your practice move your neck hug it in Flex the whole spine, and of course, I don't know why I'm not counting today, but I'm going to do three more and really feel this expression of myself. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You can go even tighter if you need to. Tone that belly, and if you've ended yours already, that's awesome, or if you're still going, to keep on going. And then eventually finding your tabletop. This time, we're going to press back into the toes, press into your root knuckles, index fingers, and hover the knees up so your wrists are in less extension so it'll give some of you some alleviation and then blossom your bum reassess your feet at least hip distance apart and further back bend your knees lift your heels like you're wearing eight inch stilettos the size of your feet are six inch <laughs> or five however tall you are and then from there bring your shoulders more forward over towards your wrists and pick up the left leg open up the left knee and then press them out away as you open up that left knee Got it? Good. And then on your next exhalation, you're going to bring that left knee up towards your armpit. Lift and extend through the crown of the head and bring the left knee in towards your left armpit. Press the floor away for three. Extend through the neck for two. And then inhale the left leg nice and bright all the way back. Exhale it to the floor. Shoulders over wrists. Knees slowly hover towards the floor as you press the floor away. Then let your knees land. Sit back on your toes. Come off your wrists. Okay, so we're just gonna play in that. Slow down, you're still gonna get the benefits of this. Good, tabletop. Deep breath in and out, little cat-cow will do you. There's always room for movement. When you're ready, let's press the bum back, resist the mat with the root base knuckles, float the knees up, downward facing dog. Got it? You've got it, inhale the right leg up, bending and extending it, noticing what you notice. Then shift your shoulders over towards your wrist, lift your head and extend through the crown of the head. Spread your right toes and bring your right knee into your right armpit as you bring the shoulders right over your armpit for five. Did I say three? <laughs> Two. And then all the way up and back. Exhale, release the right toes, shoulders over wrists, hover the knees to the floor. You've got it, feel that. Press the floor away. Extend through the crown of the neck, and then slowly lower the knees. Plant or flex your feet, sit back on your shins, open your knees up. I'm gonna make sure that I'm completely on my blanket with my ankles and my knees. Rise up, lengthen the tailbone down. Do you like my pink blanket? It's for my Cancer Moon, I love astrology. Lengthen the tailbone, and when you're leaning back, you're closing the gap in your knees, so your quads are fully extended, eccentrically, and they're contracting and rise up your hands can be in any placement your neck and your lower back aren't moving do that four more times at your own pace maybe you can hold the whole four breaths it's up to you but you're practicing rooting down and using your shins to press the floor away slowing it down oh yeah i've got great athletic girlfriends and friends boyfriends 
that are so ripped, yet they're so, they need to do a little bit of this. So wherever you are in your practice, whether you want to be an athlete, athletic, bump, pumped, you know, muscle energy bound, or your person that's, you know, baking cookies and sitting at home and do you what is best for you? Rest. <laughs> Tabletop. So my point is this yoga is for um, strengthening for your flexibility and your mobility. So this is healing. Find your tabletop. Hover your knees. Press the floor away. Knit the belly button. And inhale, downward facing dog or exhale, whatever breath takes you there. Keep on breathing. Then let's press into the right foot. Lift the left leg up again. This time we're going to take the shoulders over the armpits and bring that knee in towards your armpit and then bring that left knee towards the center of your sternum, press the floor away, and then over towards the right armpit. Both arms are strong. And then back to center, back out, and lift it out and up. So that's movement. Extend that left leg, square your hips, immediately into the right leg. Reach it up. Bend it. Shift shoulders over wrists. Bring that right knee. See how slow I'm going into the armpit. Extend through the crown of the head. Sternum across, keep your arms straight, back to sternum, back out to the armpit, all the way up, it's still opening up, got it? Then extend it and release it. Shoulders over wrists, knees hover. Tone the belly button in, extend through the crown of the head for four, three, two, on the knees, plantar flex your feet, shins, rise up, lengthen the tailbone, you see where we're going? Again, this is the sovereignty of your being. So we're finding strength or we're creating strength so that you are mobile and flexible. Does that make sense? So all my athletes out there are needing to slow down and be present. A couple more of these at your own pace without moving your neck or your lower back. It's all on your knees. And then those that are not motivated and they're not really doing much, take your time and remember to keep on practicing. This will get easier in a sense or you'll get stronger tabletop find that connection when you're ready a little cat cow a little dance hover the knees downward facing dog Woohoo! you've got it root down through the balls of your feet lift the left leg up feel the expression of it let's play here a little bit three limb down dog then shoulders over wrists knee to armpit extend through the crown of the head sternum across over sternum left armpit press back up see how my knee's still opening up and then extend square hips root down press the floor away right leg goes up bend play open it up boop, 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 boop. armpit right knee armpit sternum left armpit center right armpit out and up push the floor away extend let it land tabletop hovered knees five four three two knees land plant your flex open up your chest shins down like the tailbone this time i'm going to invite that we integrate the hands behind your back and or using your yoga strap ah there we go and then taking it back that's not comfortable for you, you can come back to here and rising up. So do as you wish. <sighs> Keeping your neck neutral and your lower back neutral. Oh yeah, tabletop. I cannot be quiet, that's just not who I am. As you come into your tabletop, swirl around, little cat cow. Keep your breath fluid, hover the knees, still your cat cow, downward facing dog. Left leg comes up, circumvent it around so it becomes a dance. You know what you're doing, don't speed it up though. Or do, shoulders over wrists, knee into armpit, to the sternum, to the right. Inhale sternum, exhale all the way back or inhale. So keep the breath fluid, right leg. So make sure you're breathing healthfully, knee to armpit, sternum across swipe it across back out all the way up got it now right release hover tabletop <laughs> i love this one press the floor away center the crown of the head knees to the mat plant your flex feet 
shift onto your blanket if you need to. I promise nothing, but this is the last one. So again, let's get those shoulders back. If you prefer to do this, awesome strap behind your hands, lean it back. It's all in the root chakra. It's like get right in there, eh? Rise it up. Slow down for those that are like really speedy. Those are really slow, kind of make, find a dance between the two. Find a happy medium. One more time. This is at your own pace too, okay? Wiggle your bum down, hug your knees together, tabletop. But we're not going back into the downward dog, okay? So walk your knees further back behind your hips so they're not underneath your hips, further back. Lift your feet up off the mat. Turn your elbow creases to face your index fingers and thumbs. And then very mindfully, shoulders are broadening. Elbows go towards your hips as you lower your pubis. Then plant or flex your feet. That means press the feet down. Slowly take your ribs to the mat. Extend through the crown of the head. See if you can keep your chest rising, but your neck nice and long. Unclench your cheeks. That's these. Lengthen your tailbone towards your feet. They will organically clench. Then reach your arms up. Palms face each other. You can use your yoga strap through the middle and index finger if that pleases you. And then extending through the crown of the head. Keep your feet down for five. Wherever you may be for four, for three, two, and then extend out through the right arm perpendicular to the shoulder joint. Bend both knees towards your bum bum. Roll completely onto your right side. Outer edge of left foot presses into the mat. Right knee reaches up towards the sky and then extend. So this is like the final pose of just being in your sovereignty of your shoulders, opening up your chest and saying yes. You can play with this left leg, move your jaw around. I love doing this one for every practice, even if you've had augmentations of your breasts. Um, for whatever reasons, the scar tissues there, maybe you need to be more forward, but keep your head up off the floor. Got it? Good. Exhale both knees together. Plant or flex your feet. Reach your arms back. Extend through the crown of the head. Feel it. Oh, yeah. There it is. For five, four, three, two. Left arm out, make sure your blanket is smooth, right arm at a right angle, bend your knees towards your bum bum, slide out through that left arm. I don't need this block in the road, do I? And then from there, bend your right knee up towards the sky and express it. So remember the Kabbalah Bhatka, I can't even say it in this position, Kabbalah Bhati, your belly breathing. We're not doing that right now, like the in and out, but we're certainly breathing into the belly. We've gotten ourselves open in that position. Play with your right arm and your neck, or keep your right hand down, feel the breath in your chest, keep the breath fluid into the belly, use those sinuses, and then exhale onto your tummy, last salambasa, that's the name of this pose, roll the shoulders back, press into the tops of your feet, reach out through the fingers, you do you, maybe you need that yoga strap, that's why having everything handy is important. For four, press into your feet for three, two, and then soften, let your face just land for a moment, slide your hands to your lowest ribs, hands, knees, and toes, hover your face, press into your knees, lift your pubis, strong arms press back, plant your flex feet, child's pose. Allow yourself to waddle in your hips, And then start to make your way up into your tabletop. Just briefly to find your cross leg seated position. I'm going to take my bolster. There you have it, a 20 minute or so. Let's end this practice by coming to sit tall. Open up your wings. <laughs> oh yeah, good. Turn your palms up. Take your thumbs back. Reach your arms further back. Take a nice big breath in here. Close your eyes and thank yourself. Say yes. Say yes to life. Keep on breathing here. Nice big belly breaths. Reach your arms further back. Good. And then inhale your arms up towards the sky. Oh yeah. Exhaling them into your heart center. May you continue to be in your sovereignty yourself. May you love yourself and thank yourself. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. And Namaste. Thank you. and rest. Be in this for just a moment of stillness and you are enough. Everything you are is enough.
Namaste. If you have any questions or concerns, I'll see you in the next episodes or just stay here and put a pin in it. Quell, ground, relax.